A delayed start, but they're away now in the final of the women's double skulls. And Great Britain's Elise Laverick and Annie Vernon at the top of your pitcher in lane number one. Now we've got difficult conditions here, so it's meant that uh, the faster crews are put down closest to us to give them a better chance of winning, such as the, uh, the wind and the unfairness of this course. Let's go down the lane order for you. Top of the pitcher in lane one, Great Britain. Next to them, Romania in lane two, Belarus in lane number three, Australia in four, Germany in five, and Bulgaria, who are the quicker crew out of all the qualifiers from the heats, repechage, and semi-finals in lane number lane number six, and they'll be closest to us. We're alongside there. Look at that great picture, great span down there. The new course here at Eton. And the venue for the uh, World Championships next year, the 2006 World Championships, and a host venue, hopefully, maybe in 2012 for the Olympic regatta. But out front, in lane number six, Bulgaria's Romania Nekova to the left of your pitcher, Miglena Markova. I've got a comfortable lead, Gillian. They have, and uh, I guess I didn't really expect anything different from the uh, the bow girl. So that's the girl to your right in the um, the Bulgarian crew. She's a fantastic single sculler. There she is, strong as an ox. She's not that tall, Gary, but she's strong as an ox. And I'm sure the, uh, the her partner in front over there is taking a lot of confidence from having someone so experienced in conditions like these. Um, I wasn't sure whether she was going to come back this year and, and try and uh, right the, the wrong, I guess, in, in her books. What happened at the Olympic Games, she came away with a bronze medal. But here she is, she's in a double skull, and as they say, a change is uh, better than a rest, and, uh, and here we are, it's all changed for Nikova. Bulgaria flying through the first 500 metres, assisted slightly by the cross-tail win. Australia in second place, and look at that, Great Britain currently in fourth place. Now, I've got to say that's gone against the trend of all the crews that have been in lane at number one as we've gone through the B finals and the earlier A finals. And so Great Britain's Elise Laverick up there in the bow seat. Annie Vernon is the new girl coming through from the world-class start program. So she's a great find for international rowing for the women because the story, Gillian, is going to be women's rowing, really. They've got to move on from the good collection of silver medals and bronze medals last year in Athens and really step up onto that first place positions. Well, let's hope so. And, uh, you know, we haven't lost that many of the Athens uh, athletes, female athletes from rowing. Um, you know, not, not many of them have given up. And it's, uh, you know, we've got such a, a solid base to build on over these next four years. And um, Annie Vernon is one of those girls that's come through the, the world-class start, like you say, through Cambridge University. And uh, she's in the boat with Elise Laverick. Now, Elise has had a, a colourful year. She had a really tragic accident uh, tra uh, coming home from training session one day on her, her road bike turning right off the main road and an articulated lorry clipped her back wheel and uh, ended up in hospital with all, all kinds of injuries so you know all credit to her for getting back on track and uh, and doing a pretty good performance con uh, conditions considering out there today Nikova Markova from Bulgaria in lane six they're making it look very very easy now as we come up towards the halfway mark top of your picture to the right great britain elise laverick and annie vernon now they're not going to be in the bronze medal position here but what they're going to be doing is putting on a pretty spirited performance the halfway mark now bulgaria in lane at number six Nekova and Markova Lee, they've led right from the first stroke. A lane order for you in lane one, top of the pitcher, Great Britain's Elise Laverick, Annie Vernon. Next to them, Romania in lane two, Belarus in lane at number three, Australia in four, Germany in five, and Bulgaria. There they are looking powerful, looking smooth, and obviously going very quickly. As we come into the third 500 meters, they're in lane at number six, and the water chopping up, and you can just see the difficult conditions that all these crews are having to contend with here today. You know, the, the conditions are difficult. You know, they're, they're unfortunate. I've rode on this course many times, and it's flat calm, and I tell you, there's no better course in the world than this course on a good day. I think these conditions are uh, not normal. Of course, you know, we've been warned about the weather all this week, and here it is, you know, it has true to form. The weather uh, has come in pretty windy today but it's you know it, it, like I say I think it's just a blip and uh, this course is fantastic on a good day all the British squad train down here they do all their training pieces their timed pieces so if you come down here at a weekend and stroll along the side with your dog or whatever you'll see the, uh, the future stars out here training but today they're out here racing regretfully for the British crews so far they're up against some pretty stiff uh, conditions which is making them be put out into the slower lanes. And 
Our front, though, Bulgaria, Nekova and Markova. They look it, I mean, it's just a joy to watch. It's effortless. Now, remember, this is early part of the season. You know, these guys have got a long way to go to be the finished article by the time we get to the World Championships in Japan later on this year. But they're still looking pretty smart having come out of a long winter training season. So the last timing mark. We're through 1,500 metres, there's 500 to go. There is no change from the race leader from stroke number one, Bulgaria, in that lane at number six. Germany won in second place, Australia. Sally Kehoe and Amber Bradley. Amber Bradley was in the quadruple skull uh, last year at the Olympic Games. But out front, Bulgaria, lane six, looking very, very good. And on the right of your picture is uh, Romania Nekova two-time world champion in 2003-2002. Plenty of Olympic experience. Bronze medalist last year, silver medalist by a photo finish in Sydney. Five years, gosh, can you believe five years ago already, thereabouts. Just the way the, the, the order that the, the winners are coming down, you know, the, in rowing it should be, as you see in a swimming pool, that's a kind of the race order, like a chevron effect. So this is very different. Um, and as a result, we've seen a lot of these, the, this crew here, the, the Bulgarian crew, not really seen too much of, of what's going on behind. But there they are, the Germans are chasing for the silver medal and, um, and they're doing a pretty good job considering these conditions out there. So they're going to come along now, the grandstand. Look at the crowds on the far side. A great turnout for the rowing contingent here. All the supporters, all the local rowing clubs have been coming from far and wide to uh, support the regatta here. And Great Britain up in lane at number one, Elise Laverick and Annie Vernon will get a great crowd roaring behind them, bringing them down the closing 200 metres. But already out front, way out front, in the last 10 strokes from Bulgaria, Romania, Nekova, Miglena, Markova are paddling up to the line. It is always a nice feeling to be able to paddle up to the line in a world-class final. And there they're through now. It's goal for them as they start and kick off their 2005 uh, World Cup campaign. Germany paddling up to take the silver medal. And Australia there coming in through in third place. And Great Britain now are in a big old fight for that fourth place position. It's Great Britain against um, Belarus. Great Britain and Belarus, but Great Britain will hold on and take the fourth place position. Belarus heads down as they come over the line. And that's a pretty good start, it has to be said, for Great Britain. But no doubt the race leaders, the race winners from start to finish, Bulgaria.